so like that's why i keep these little jars i'm not hoarding them i'm not hoarding them. don't call me a hoarder hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm annery morgan i'm doing a vlog today <laughs> Yay! Okay, so there's a lot going on at home right now. My whole entire apartment is a whole mess. So it's currently 11.41 and why am I starting my day so late? I have no freaking idea, but it's officially summer. Have you guys gone to the beaches yet? I mean, for those who live up north like me, but I'm currently in New Jersey and it's finally summer and I've already been to the beach like four times so I'm not wasting any summertime now I had like swimsuits packed up that I bought from last year and I never wore and I'm gonna wear every single one of them this year oh my goodness it's gonna be 92 degrees today so it's about to be blazing first thing I'm gonna do is drink my tea yeah this cup it says Starbucks don't it yeah because for some reason, I'm obsessed with Starbucks logo clearly more than the actual coffee that they sell. And I saw these reusable Starbucks cups. The coffee I make at home tastes the same as regular Starbucks. But maybe that's because I'm not ordering those extra stuff. I'm just like, I want a caramel latte, nothing else. So my coffee at home tastes the same, but I like the aesthetic of having the Starbucks cup. So inside of my cup is some jamaican they call it dog blood tea but it's a jamaica i'm gonna show you guys hold on it's a bush that's good for the reproductive health of females that's what it said i haven't done extensive research but this is what we drink like if we're having like heavy flow that time of the month or need to boost their fertility and stuff like that so i'm currently drinking it because it's that time of the month so let me show you the three teas please don't mind the mess on the counter as, as i said i'm cleaning the entire place today so like if you see cane trash on the counter that's because i was killing some cane from morning but yeah oh i just got a notification when you guys subscribe thank you okay okay i hope i'm not looking weird my skin has been acting up lately it's kind of been discouraging me from recording and this is my my home clothes so like this is my regular top and my lucky shorts <laughs> all right so this is cersei this is really good for everything this is the lemongrass and this is the dog blood yeah so and then I have sugar cane here, but trust me, I have bags of sugar cane bags. This is what I'm on today, this morning. Let me actually taste this. Oh, first of all, it's hot as hell. But yeah, definitely. The lemongrass saved the flavor of this, or fever grass. It have a very nice flavor to it, like, wow, yeah. So my number one agenda today is to clean underneath my bathroom sink because it's a mess under there. And I've had it organized other times, but every time I get ready, I tend to like scrabble and look for stuff, which clearly means that I never really organized to function well because I have to be scrambling to find stuff still. So I guess I just had it looking neat. Okay, I had to put my hair in a half up, half down because it was really bugging me. But, oof, I cannot be stable. But, okay, and so I'm about to open up under my sink I showed it to you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trash some stuff stuff that I know I'm just never ever ever going to use again. I'm going to see what I have so that I'm not like buying extra stuff because I keep like my extra stuff like toothpaste, the lotions, body sprays and hair products or whatever. I keep those under here and I don't really know what I have anymore because of how messy it is under there. Alright here we go. Oh my jeez. I don't know if I should be embarrassed or just be grateful that I noticed that this is not right and plan on fixing it, but let's get to it. So here we are. Okay, before I talk about anything, yes, I'm sitting on my bathroom floor. I don't want anybody to come for me. I literally washed this mat yesterday. I think I'm going to take out these boxes first so that we can see what's going on. So these are my sanitary pads that I use. On a monthly basis, I use the Always brand. Always been using Always. 
and they have evolved in very in the positive way because you know not every brand that evolves does it right the thing is now they have the flex foams these are ultra thin somehow even though it's thin like it it has very good leak protection and everything and i don't know i'm not gonna ramble too much about this because that will take too much time but overall i'm using the size two now on my very first two days i'm sorry if you're a guy watching this don't unsubscribe if you're a guy i will still do sit down vlogs that will involve stuff that men can be entertained by please don't unsubscribe <laughs> but yeah the thing with me like I like to feel secure and safe and sure on my first two days because it's so heavy on those days. So I'm gonna empty these out because I have a basket in here that's just covered, but I have a basket that I keep all my sanitary stuff. And then of course, I use for tampons, I use Tampax. So this is just a super size because I only wear tampons on my heavy days, which is the first two days. Look at this, in this corner, this is a ball of shower cap <laughs> because I change my shower caps very often. You know, like people would like to have, you know, the fancy looking shower caps and everything. I don't like them because after a while I feel uncomfortable putting the band on my head if it's like the reusable one often. I just feel like it's going to give me acne or something. <laughs> okay, this is a pack of band-aids. There's clearly no order in what I'm doing here. All right. So right up front, I have this Castor Pro Growth Conditioner. I went to, I was being cheap. I went to Marshalls and I got both of them, $6.99 each. And I don't know anything about this brand or anything, but I have the shampoo and conditioner for this. I don't know if you know it. I hate it. You know what? I shouldn't say I fully hate it because it was in Marshalls. And for some reason, I feel like all of Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Home Goods products they all tend to smell the same i just have this weird feeling that they just have one product that they're just filling these bottles with overall we know that they get like the older products so i sh probably should not say no to this brand just because it's bad because i got it from marshall's but as of now i'm trashing these because they make my hair feel like it's sticking together like clamming it's a bad move so these are going to the trash I have my heat protectant. I changed the brand. I usually use the Garnier one. So far, I'm satisfied with it. It does what it should do, in my opinion. Okay, this is my oil mixture. I mix a bunch of oils together. So in here, I have, I think I put too much peppermint oil in there because this, this is so strong. It has peppermint oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, it, you know what all the oils that can go on here if I have it at home I'm gonna mix it in this bottle and I just I tend to put it on my hair probably a day before I shampoo it I don't have a solid reason why I just feel like it's good for my scalp and I just do it but if you keep it on for longer than that it's gonna scratch the hell out of you oh my gosh honey pot this is a fresh brand new bottle a honey pot um for the sensitive skin, I did a review on this as a short. I will never use this product again. <laughs> this is crap. Full bottle going to the trash. The, oh, what is this? I had some hair gel in this container. This jar, I'm not trashing it. To refill it with any products. Cause for example, yeah, I keep these little jars. Like I'm not hoarding them. So just like I have this, like just yesterday, I bought my mother some hair oil. She said she wanted hair oil. I don't like using hair oil on my scalp, especially because it has petrolatum. But, oh my God, I'm pressing my bone. But I bought her the oil and I'm like, mm, this oil actually smell and look like it has some use. So like I stole some of it. So like, that's why I keep these little jars. I'm not hoarding them. I'm not hoarding them. Don't call me a hoarder. Sounds like I'm trying to convince myself that I'm not, which seems like I am. But anyways, this, oh, this is a full beer detangler from Shea Moisture for men. I bought my boyfriend a kit for his beard and stuff like that. He only used the balm out of it and there's a beard shampoo that comes in the kit too. He only uses it if I'm in the shower with him and I'm like, I like I just hurry and lather my hand and be like, <laughs> You know, men aren't complicated when it comes to these things. So I should have known he wasn't going to use this, but this is a beard detangler. This is another thing too. 
Um, it's the Dove Care, the Sandalwood Oak for men, the deodorant or body spray. Again, I was like in store and I saw it and I bought it. I never knew how dedicated this man was to one product. So I was like, oh, let me grab a body spray for him. And he's not into this brand. It's not even that he doesn't like it. He just won't even try it, to be honest. All right, this is Style Factor hair gel. I have one problem with it though. After a while, like if you use it two, three days in a row, it kind of builds up this white sticky film on my hair. So the reason why I really loved it was when my hair was in its natural state. This is the only thing that could actually tame my edges. So that's why I had it. This is my hair moisturizer. I still use this. It's the olive oil or Oris moisturizing hair con hair lotion. Oh my god, I've had this for so long. I should probably trash it. This is my corn huskers lotion. It's for heavy duty hand treatment, but I really rub it on my feet. I'm gonna put it on a maybe pal. Okay, so I have a trash pal and a maybe pal. This is going to maybe because even though I don't use it all the time, when I do use it. It does what it should do, you know? But that's a good product if you have like rough hands and feet for me. Wow, I would say it's both, but like now my hands aren't that rough anymore. Who texted me? Eesh. Oh, my contacts company. I need to order contacts. This is a hairband that I bought for God knows why reason. I'm trashing it because this takes edges out. Okay, these are my beauty blenders that I haven't used for months. Do I wash them or do I trash them? I like the case for them. I think I need to trash these. <laughs> so I'm keeping the case. I'm trashing the blenders. Okay, I'm getting somewhere, don't you think? Okay, let me pull this basket out. All right, in this basket, this is Vaseline or Petrolatum, but I just bought the Equate brand or the Wal Walmart brand. Vaseline is Vaseline, don't matter what brand, but so yeah, th that's a keep. This sack right here that says Majuri and it looks a bit dirty because of the stain or the oil from the soap, but I made some bar soaps. I never added, um, what's it called? Fragrance or anything. These are just bare bar soaps just that I made and diced up and I never use them. I'm keeping it because I'm gonna force myself to use it. Really and truly, this is my basket that I keep all my sanitary products so I can just grab them whenever I'm on my period without having to dig through boxes and stuff. But I have absolutely no organization to it. So I'm just gonna dump these out in it for now. But it seems like the basket isn't big enough. Oh no, this looks like a bad idea. Yeah, this is not working because I have a whole lot of box. The thing about these scrunchies, I don't use them anymore because I really, to catch my hair up, I really just use these little black elastic bands. This was a clay bowl or whatever that I bought a plant in and I reused it to put all my little hair accessories. There must be a better way to organize this, I know. But as of now, this is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. All right, let me just pull this. All right, now this basket, what's going on in here? Okay, this is my hair mist bottle. This is my pure Epsom salt. So I tend to use this mostly if I'm giving my boyfriend a pedicure. If you've been my very close friend, there's a very high chance that I've given you a pedicure. I have these exfoliating gloves. I do use them like if I'm shaving my legs, I might scrub my legs before I shave them or whatever. This is a Miracle Moist Conditioner. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the brand name for this, but it doesn't really do anything bad to my hair, so I'm going to keep it just in case. I have a Bath & Body Works um, body scrub. It's just a body scrub. It's sand and sea salt in it. I also use it to like scrub my feet and stuff like that. I have extra bar soaps. If you know me very well, you know I should not have this in my home at all. I have my flat iron. I've had this for 
like seven years i should probably trash this now i don't trust it at all for my hair okay this is a soap bag do you guys know what this is like you put small bars of soap together and like i don't know what you do with it after that's the thing i'm gonna trash it because i just have it here just taking up space and i'm not using it at all this is a body cleanser that i got from a hotel i'm gonna just use it and wash my hand i usually keep it in my car or in my bag so that if like i i need to wash my hands or something and i don't trust the soap that's in that bathroom or whatever i have my own soap first of all avoid public restrooms at all costs but if it comes down to it where you have to use one have your own tissue have your own soap have your own everything you get me <laughs> this is acne treatment this is just sulfur it's 10 percent sulfur it's good for like it's an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory this is a bath and body works plug-in eucalyptus and spearmint this is my favorite bath and body work scent i have like a bunch of them stacked in here and i think this is the last one unless i have more in this basket but okay oh my goodness okay this is a gobi electric toothbrush it's so sleek and nice and everything and i got it for my boyfriend on my very first christmas with him so our relationship was like two three months old so i never really understood what he liked from not like or anything i was still like kind of getting to know him then so i figured this would be so sleek if i got the gobi toothbrush and i got the white one and got him the black one because I figured that oh we'd be standing at the bathroom sink brushing our teeth together and I just thought it was aesthetically pleasing and like cute. This man he never touched this. He never tried it in his mouth once. I never ended up using mine either. I but I tried it a couple times, but I'm just really more of a hands-on teeth brushing person and I really like my reach toothbrush. So I just have these sitting here. By right, I should trash them they're so cute maybe i can like get him to use it but like or next vacation trip i can just pack it and not pack our regular toothbrush so we can have that <laughs> that scene that i had in my mind when i was buying it next bath and body works body spray this is the frosted coconut snowball i guess this was a christmas scent but i really like the scent of this but it's just very weak, it's very weak, it's very, very, very weak. But it's a body spray, that's how they are. All right, next. I bought these Equate flushable wipes. These are like toothpaste, the back of toothpaste. This is a contour palette that I do not use. If you know me, I'm not a makeup -y person. I think I bought it for like the bottom darker colors down here, like these dark ones. These are my extra cotton pads. I keep my cotton pads on the shelf above the toilet. I'm gonna show you guys. These were my extra, so I'm gonna just stack them in the little cotton thing that I have. Did I just, wow. I just bought one of these petroleum jelly. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know what I have because of how badly stacked it is in here. I should have eaten before I started. Now I'm really hungry. This is the Indian Healing Clay. I tried it in my hair before. I don't remember what the result was. More body sprays that I didn't remember I had. Okay, so I have three, four, five. And these are the ones here because I have some more in the closet. So let me show you guys what we have here. I have to shade this because it has sprinkles. So the perfect pony. I don't know how what this is, but I really bought it for the sprinkles because if I'm wearing like a night dress or something, I like to have a little slight shimmer. You know that shimmer, Demi? But yes, I have that one. The vanilla bean noel, ice raspberry, whatever. This is the pink chiffon. And then the cactus blossom. I would like spray my body with these and then kind of pair it off with a perfume. If I remember, because half the time I don't remember to wear these things. I have hydrogen peroxide, nail polish remover, Nair for sensitive skin. I have some witch hazel toner, another hotel toiletry thing. I got this from the Grand Beach Hotel. Oh my gosh. It's a hotel in Miami. Beautiful. I think I went there for my birthday two years ago. Oh my gosh. It was the first trip my boyfriend took me on. 
Okay, this is a perfume my friend got me for my birthday. I don't think this friend is gonna see this because we don't really talk anymore, but I kind of miss you. Some cotton swabs. I keep them in the top drawer here. Some are restuck. Those, is this interesting in any way? I have no idea. And that's this bin. So I need to wipe these bins out. I have this vanish cream for like aftershave to prevent like razor bumps. This makeup brush needs washing. So I'm gonna put it to the side. But this is where I keep my hair combs and brushes that I just grabbed. So I mostly use this big one, this fine tooth one. I use the end part for parting. And I use, this is my regular brush, which I think I need a new one. Look at this, this is horrible. I mean, it's not necessarily the look, but like the paint is like clammy and coming off of it. So it makes it uncomfortable to hold. So I need a new hairbrush, so I'm gonna get that. But as of now, I use this. This is my detangling brush. This is my makeup box. I use this brush a lot for my eyebrows and stuff. But overall, I don't think I want to run through all the stuff in this because this won't be too much. I got this from Marshalls. I just like the shades in it. I just feel like I'm going to use it. Well, the darker shades. This is the foundation I use whenever I do use foundation. This is NARS. The shade that I have is Mako, Makeo, M-A-C-A-O. Listen, I can't pronounce. I just went into Sephora, said, can you please give me my shade? And they gave me this one, so. This mascara is done and tired. I'm gonna trash it. Another one, I think it's by Maybelline. They're really good, but they're finished. I have this other one by Great Lash by Maybelline that I bought the other day, but it's not waterproof. It makes no sense to wear mascara that's not waterproof. So I'm trashing it even though it's brand new. This is where I keep my nail products. All my nail products. Honestly, I should trash a lot of stuff from here because I have nail polish that I'm just never gonna use again because some of them just aren't gel. I'm not gonna trouble them right now. This, the next time I do my nails and stuff, I'll probably have the vibe to trash those. And then this is my hair basket. Okay, this is the conditioner that I'm currently using. I also use the Argan Oil Morocco Moisturizing Conditioner, or it says Intense Conditioning Treatment. I keep these grab clips. I divide my hair in four when I'm washing it. I have the Naked Deodorant in the scent Lavender and Rose, and then alcohol. So that's it. So it's empty under here now. So I'm gonna wipe out, clean under here, clean the baskets, and then restock the stuff that I'm keeping. So I'm taking a mini break. I'm so hungry and I didn't even finish my tea. Much less started really. I hardly had any. So it's a warm time. So there's a grill in front of my apartment. So a lot of families come and like have mini parties and all of that. So cool. I like the summer vibe. I like, I like everything summer. Love it. I need to eat something other than cane. I've only been eating sugar cane. Oh my God, I have patty too. How did I forget that I have beef patties? All right, now I'm gonna eat a patty and then go back to cleaning the bathroom. Ah, so heavy. <laughs> yes, the Jamaican beef patty. This is from, from Juicy Patty, the best patty. You know, it tastes different when you buy it from the store directly versus when you microwave it or bake it or whatever. But they have lobster now. Ooh, I never know they have lobster patty. I'm gonna eat one. I'm gonna microwave it first. I have cheese too. I'm not adding no cheese right now. Because Barry, I shouldn't be eating cheese because it made my skin act up. But I like to put a paper towel on it because it gets like wet and soggy. And I don't like that. And then I put it in the toaster. Is that the oven that they say I should put it in? I'm not an alcohol person, right? It usually make me kind of nauseous too and stuff, so I'm not really an alcohol person. Of course, I like the feeling and everything. I'll drink red wine and stuff for the aesthetic of it. Sometimes I just put cranberry juice just to like, you know, have that feeling, whatever. Don't call me weird. But my favorite alcoholic beverage, which is just 5% alcohol, is the Angry Orchard hard cider. It's an apple cider or whatever. This is so good. I could down these, I just gulp them down. Because beers are too bitter and everything, this thing is really good. I love it so much. It's not in the fridge because I had to take it out last night because I never have enough space to put my sugar cane. <laughs> and I plop it in the toaster. Oh, it's too long. Ah. 
I honestly don't know how to store this bush. I'm gonna have to call my mommy and ask her how I'm supposed to do it. Yeah, so of course we didn't have to put um, stick a cane with it. Then my cane again are tough. So I feel like split it up a little bit, make it easier to eat. Oh my god, if you're not a cane person, or if you haven't had like cane, it is among my favorite stuff. And you know, patty tastes better with orange juice. I have guava juice, but I'll be like, nah. Orange juice is the thing now. Mmm. Flaky. So I'm finally done. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So this is what's up now. So I put the box of pads, I put them at the bottom there and stack the ones that I'm gonna use first on top. I put like the perfumes and like deodorants and stuff here, cleaning stuff, antiseptic, toothpaste, backup vaseline stuff like that there i put the makeup in this one and i left it on top on purpose i put the hair products in this one because i mostly come in this box on wash day and then i have like nail stuff down the bottom so that's the one i go to the least and then i just have this little thing here that has my elastic bands and hairpins and stuff here because i don't want them up top but Based on how it's organized, you can tell that it's gonna get back to where it was before I cleaned it. But I think it would be more dewy if I had more like drawers and stuff where I don't have to be lifting and moving stuff to get what I want. But as of now, this is the setup and I know where everything is so I don't have to be digging like last time but yeah. So now let me show you my plans for other stuff. So basically, this is the vanity area in the bathroom. So these are the most reached items between me and my boyfriend. Um, so I still need to like clean up this area. This is my black girl sunscreen. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is the only sunscreen that doesn't leave that white cast so far. Um, this is the best mouthwash ever. This is my face lotion. It's really for body, but it works for my face as well. I, I actually just got another one because this one is empty, but they have like probiotics in it now or something. So they changed the formula a bit. And I've been using this for years with no problem. So even though probiotics is good, like I'm kind of scared of anything happening because of that, you know? But anyway, I washed the makeup brushes I have and I put them here just to dry a bit. My contacts case, my glasses and whatever. But overall, I'm going to come back here and just figure out what's going on. For example, this shining gem, I can put it down the bottom because I recently did my hair, so I'm hardly gonna use any gel for now. This is like alcohol. This is my Adapalene gel, my acne treatment. Can't do without it at this point in my life. But yeah, this <laughs> this is a, um from another hotel bottle, but I just reuse the bottle because I don't like to carry my full face wash. So I just put it in this bottle out of haste one time when I was going on a vacation and I'm finishing what I have in there now so I can trust the bottle. But it was like an original lotion bottle. Which hotel is this one from? Oh, Kimpton Epic Miami. If you know this hotel, check it out. It's really cool, really, really nice. This is my perfume. I'm kind of into looking for a scent now. I know that I'm a woody girl, but overall, yeah. And this hair oil, I think I'm gonna try it out, so I'm gonna leave it up top here for now. This is a medicine cabinet. So I have like my eye stuff up top. This is my glam bag, this is what I travel with. This was a gift from a friend. Yeah, I, I use it to like exfoliate and stuff. This is another like set of fill. I got it on a trip as well, because I left my face wash. But it's not like the soap, it's like the gentle cleanser. This is for my blem. It's called Blemish Bye Bye. Yeah, it's Bye Bye Blemish Vitamin C Dark Spot Brightening Lotion. It says lotion. What? Am I using it wrong? But listen, overall, it's like a thing you shouldn't shake it. So I just dip a cotton swab in there. I dip this thing in there and like I just dot my, my acne spots. Now the bottom shelf is the problem. So I know you guys see a bunch of like contact lens. It's kind of oily because I have these oils. This is my castor oil that I use. This is a peppermint oil that I said I overuse. Um, this is a tweezer. 
let me tell you about this tweezer. This is a tweezer my sister took to either high school or college and she left it in our bedroom in Moka Karindan in Jamaica and I've held it dear to me ever since. It's really old but somehow it's still sharp. I showed her the other day, I don't think she cares. She probably thinks it's weird that I hold on. I don't think my brother and sister knows how much I adore them but yeah. This is a lip scrub. I got it from Bath and Body Works. I need to wipe this place, so don't come after me. I'm going to clean it. But this, these contact lenses, I'm storing them because I want to do art with them. I don't know how to describe what I'm planning on doing yet. I probably need to just store them in this, right? That would be a good idea. So I want to like save up a good amount of them and then do whatever art I'm planning on doing. It's gonna be... Listen, I'm weird and random like that, but yeah. So don't worry, I'm gonna wipe out in here. Don't judge me. But yeah, that's the vanity. Overall, my problem with this bathroom is hard to film in here because of the color of the wall and the light. Now, this is over the toilet area. So yeah, I got this fake plant from, I think I got it from Tamo, but you can get it from Sheen or wherever. It's like $2 for a bunch. And I think I got two bunches and stick them together. I have this basket up top where I have um, toilet paper. I have this Garnier makeup removal. I like it. I use it sometimes. This is the cotton thing I was talking about. Probably you guys are going to say I shouldn't keep it above the toilet like this, but as of now, that's where it is. This is like a plant or whatever and a candle that's been here before I moved in. And then I told you guys I'm on my cycle, so I just leave like these so I can stretch and grab them. And then these are the flushable wipes that I was talking about. But overall, right here is just so bland. I think the art that I'm planning with the contact lens, I'm going to somehow put it in a can canvas and put it up here or something. Add some color of some sort. We got this thing to hang the, the hand towel. And then I'm going to wash the shower today. I'm say I'm doing a full-blown cleaning today. But I was trying to add like a pop of color. That's why I chose this shower curtain. And from our shower, it leads right into our bedroom and stuff. So I'm back to the kitchen. So now I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and probably try cook something, like make some, as I said, I want me to ex escovich fish, probably before my boyfriend comes home too, because he's probably gonna come home hungry. And I'm just noticing my phone is dead. All right, first things first. I wanna find out how to store this bush. All right. Oh God! You frightened me. I broke it for you. What is this? I was just talking about that I won't cook. Let's see this one first. What is this? This is shrimps. I bought shrimps for you. Oh! Garlic shrimps. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. I just bought this one in the face. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? I've been vlogging the whole time. I'm actually recording again. <laughs> What are you doing with this? Kind of vlog? I'm about to put it away. I've been cleaning from the bathroom this way, like organizing. So I just reached the kitchen now. Well, that outside is crazy, isn't it? It's really good, very fast. Yeah, you got it. Let's kill it. Kill it, Pete? Yeah. Mm. As we go through the rest of my cleaning, I want to discuss the methods to stay on track with your goals. I talk a lot about being delusional and its impact on me. I see a lot of females today on social media or in person giving off a vibe of hopelessness. Hopelessness when it comes to relationships or living out their fantasies. And I spend a lot of time daydreaming and planning the life that I want. Because I truly believe that I deserve it. And that mindset alone is what keeps me going and going in the direction that I want. It's almost like I'm already happy for myself because I'm excited about my future. And that's the delusion that I was talking about. All of that is to ask you, what is your dream? And how will you behave in your dream life? How will you walk? How will you talk? How will you dress? And do you think that you can start walking, talking, and looking like that from now? Even though you haven't 
reached that level in life yet that would make you think that that's how you should act. Then you might find yourself attracted to people who are either off that lifestyle or having the same goal to be off that lifestyle as well. And the cool part about that mindset is that once you tap into it, you immediately start feeling the joy that's associated with it. That's because now you look forward to waking up every day and working towards the next step in that dream life of yours. Overall, that's really how I keep myself motivated and keep myself going. As a female, I think now a lot of persons are understanding that every week is a different type of week for us as females, depending on our cycles. Now I know what weeks I'm feeling more motivated in, what weeks I know I should rest in. And because of knowing that, I'm way more productive on a month-to-month basis because I know what works for me. And being a woman already is such a powerful thing. If we really tap into who we are and understand ourselves, then we really can make the most of our time. All in all, I'm on this YouTube journey and I'm so excited about it. I still have a very long way to go, but I'm enjoying every second of it. I'm learning about how to do simple little things, developing on my editing skills each week. I'm enjoying YouTube videos even more than I was before because now I'm looking at other girls who are at the level I want to be on this platform. And I'm taking notes. I'm seeing how they do what they do. And overall, I know that it's only growth from here. So if you're new here, please subscribe. This is probably something I should have said way earlier in the video. But um, I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. And I would really appreciate it if you could join the, I guess it's a family. That's what they call it, isn't it? Leave video suggestions. Tell me what you'd like to see what you'd like me to talk about. I have my closet to declutter. I don't know if I want to put that on the channel because to me, when I watch it on other girls' channel, it's interesting. But when I think about me doing it for myself, my channel, I think it's boring and no one wants to watch it. But I mean, I need to change my whole entire wardrobe to look like the girl I want to be. All that said, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and bye.